right, fixed, fixed. Don't care about the rest of that. Everything else is looking good still. We're taking just a few minor hits. We got really lucky with those uh, those predator encounters. That um, they only nicked me without making me bleed, without knocking me down, or doing all our other fun stuff. Um, let's see. Look at that survivor gear. Survivor gear. <laughs> Um, why is the suit? Oh, yeah, it is. Light survivor suit. So, yeah, just a raincoat. Raincoat alone, and I could do the survivor gear. Let's see. I also want Kevlar. Give me the damaged Kevlar vest. And we'll clean that up also. A raincoat. Just need some more plastic bags. No problem. Let's um, unload candy. Unload candy. Should be enough. Give me a raincoat, please. God dang it. Once again, i not standing in the right place. <laughs> Just can't learn this lesson. All right. Hopefully we can change the equation of a bit. Get some, some real gear on. At least the main pieces. There we go. So, light survivor suit. My chances of getting the regular survivor suit anytime soon are pretty poor, but I can do the light and then I can line it with Kevlar to basically essentially be the same protection rating. So, we're going to do that. So, suit, light survivor suit, and use the tack vest and the Kevlar vest that's on my person. That I just cleaned up. Yeah, I thought earlier about doing a bunch of nail board traps. Um, it's just, uh, it's hard to maneuver them around. I'm, my guy's, my, my gal is slow. She doesn't have any movement bonuses whatsoever and low stats. So I tend to shy away from maneuver based benefits and uh the traps eh, i've never done a real super trap heavy run i've used them once or twice in a couple of runs where i really had to and they were pretty valuable but other than nail board traps i hey look tailoring six uh i never really f get around to using them for much all right we've got the survivor suit let's go ahead and ditch the um jacket and the pants We'll wear our survivor suit. That's going to help tremendously. All right, what else can we do? Um, so what am I missing? Thread? I don't think so. <laughs> I do not think so. All right, I brought back a bunch of. I only brought back five ropes, really. All right, well, we're gonna we're gonna chop up two of them. Disassemble it all. Uh, it's possible to use a turret if you can get a friendly turret to your side. For that, you need usually either an extremely lucky EMP blast or um, control laptop or a scrambler grenade, neither of which I have the option to get. There aren't very many turrets in the area, and turrets are kind of funky nowadays. They're hard to get focused on the enemies. Yeah, this is taking a little while longer. There's still a lot of activity upstairs. <laughs> We're back to the slow time frame. A nearby corpse rises. Uh, hopefully that was an upstairs kind of thing. <laughs> it's in here. I'm pretty sure I got everything pulped that I, I killed. God dang, this is taking a long time. All right, let's 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 stop. What are we up to? 1,100 thread and still... Oh, yeah, 49 strings to go still. <laughs> All right. Let's stop that. Uh, survivor. Whoops, that's not how you spell that. All right, so we can do the mask, regular boots, regular gloves. Let's see. I'm likely going to have to go heavy protection on this one because um, I don't have movement bonuses, so I'm going to resign myself to not being speedy. 
So I think I'm going to go standard boots and gloves. Then we'll Kevlar line the... Um, actually, I can do a regular survivor suit now. Oh, that's right. Duct tape's going to be the problem. I only got 150 duct tape left. How much are these taken? The boots is going to be... a ah, 100. I don't even have enough for the boots and the gloves. Yeah. Either one. I don't have enough. Alright, so we're still shy there. Unless I can get to that other basement and get that other stack. But we got the main piece. So that's going to be helpful regardless. So we got the uh, survivor suit. I don't think... Let's see here. Here we go. Wooden needle. Survivor suit. No, we're not going to get the option. So I can't, uh, I can't modify it without better tools. Sewing kit takes a lot of crazy stuff. <laughs> I love it. All you need is plastic chunk and scrap metal for components, but you need metalworking ability to make a sewing kit. So that's not going to happen. So I'm going to have to find a sewing kit still or a tailor kit. Um, yeah. What else was I missing? Anybody remember there was something, I think it was, was it the forge I was trying to make that was going to take something I was missing. Uh, we can use the soldering iron, a full battery, to make the forge. So we can cover that. And I can get heating elements. That's not, not a problem. So we can actually do the forge now. We have, if I don't use, oh that's lovely. So if I use the duct tape to make the arc welder, that's the one I was thinking of. But if I use the duct tape to make the arc welder, then uh, I only have 90 duct tape left, which means I can't do one of those two survivor pieces. One of them took, I think, 100, and the other took 80. If I can do, it's probably the gloves, I'm going to guess. Might be short duct tape anyway. Um, but that would get me the forge and the welder. Then it's the crucible, which just needs the forge, so we'd be okay there. We've already got the tongs, so swage and die. Oh yeah, anvil's next. We can do the anvil as soon as we have the crucible, and uh, again the forge. So we're good to there, and then swage and die just needs the tools with the chisel, which is makeable with once you have the other stuff anyway. So yeah, I can do the whole metalworking chain with what we've got if I save that duct tape, which I think I'm gonna. So let's go ahead and before I forget, let's get the uh, the arc welder done. I don't want to forget and use up my duct tape and not be able to put that together. It's going to be more important than getting my hands or my feet covered. All right, so we've got the arc welder done. Um, let's actually put that up there for now. And then let's grab the. Oops, I've already got the soldering iron done. I, I do. Put a fresh battery in there and get the. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need uh, heating elements. I have no heating elements so far. I haven't taken apart the stoves. I have not. All right, let's go do that. Yep. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like I said, I <laughs> got stuff in my base. Um, they're not quite in my base yet. Uh, that dissolute's gonna take a bunch of shooting. Let's see. Get him up into the hallway here. Oh, cool. Oh, Predator. Ah, Predator. Oh, thank goodness. He is uninjured. Um, all right. Still no problem so far. If we don't get too many more things. Let's go this way. Pull him down the hall. God damn, he's quick. He's way faster than I thought he'd be. Oh, that's right. I can't see his health. I don't know why I keep looking. 
Uh, if I go north, I'm going to get dead-ended. Oh, no, actually, I can go around. I can go like this. Yeah, let's go north. All right, let's take advantage and reload. Where'd you... God dang it, stop running. God dang it! <laughs> that is so annoying. Whoa. Instantly gets me in the eyes. is hella fast am I I'm not slow how is this guy moving so fast really how how the hell is a dissolute devourer running like that I've lost track how many times I've shot him also Guess I'm gonna hide behind the uh, the teleporter Which is the other reason I came this way. <laughs> Alright, still got at least one or two little guys I saw. Let's go... Uh-oh, somebody broke my door. Or is that smoke coming through the door? I think that's smoke coming... Nope, door hinge, nail planks. Yep, they broke the door. That's not good. Is the smoker back? Oh, shite. <laughs> the whole place is infested. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. This is very bad. Another dissolute. Oh, crap. I want that guy gone. All right, come here, you. Feel free to tell him. Whoa, he's, he's Trixie! He's Trixie! <laughs> he grabbed me! <laughs> there he goes. Uh, yeah, now I got smoke there. They could be trashing my pile of stuff. I hate fighting. Yep, I hate fighting near my gear. They could be trashing all of my, my stuff right now. Oh, man. Oh, uh, crappity crap. This is bad. There's the smoke zombie. It's going to disappear before I can shoot him. Oh, it reflects off. Bull crap, it reflects off. <laughs> that is a bunch of hooey. Hooey, I say. Reflects off. <laughs> ah, we hit him for 22, but he didn't go down. I need one more hit to finish him. Not sure I can stay ahead of him. Ah, oh, we got him. I'm fine with that. I am fine with that result. Back to walk mode. Please nothing bad show up. I'm in real bad shape if anything does. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, so we got stamina back. Please, please tell me that was the one and only... Oh, once again, I left my head headlamp on. Please tell me that was the only smoker that made it in here. We're going to end up spending a lot of time wandering around looking for bodies to pulp. Ammo, 169. I got about 200 rounds. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of worried that as they came through here, they smashed stuff that I have, like, loose uh, 
alcohol, anything in bottles and stuff that they could have smashed on their way through. That's kind of what I'm worried about now. How many more are in here? in this big room. They could have come through here. <laughs> God damn it, that stupid ambulance keeps triggering issues. It's one of the things I, I really dislike about the Z levels is the uh, the noise propagation is just ridiculous. Here's a scale jug up top having a fight with the ambulance. Sight here. Oop, huge boomer somewhere. Yep, oh, see in the water. Yep. <laughs> Brought me pliers. Did oh, bolt cutters. All right, we'll take bolt cutters. Alright, I think we've got the area clear. That was exciting. <laughs> uh, I wasn't expecting that. Just came down to peacefully take apart an oven and all well, havoc breaks loose. I don't think there was any acid up here. I don't believe. What do we got? Anything of interest? Roller skates again. Stop bringing me roller skates. Bring me roller blades. Ooh, a back holster. I'll take a back holster. Might build something that can use a back holster. The hell does a zombie have a back holster? And... Yeah. I don't think I've ever gotten a back holster off a zombie before. Alright, did I get everything pulped? I think I got everything pulped. Let's try this again. Hey look, the uh <laughs> the indicators are working again. <laughs> yep, indicators are working again. So yeah, like I said, not uh, not anything was under my control. That was a Twitch and the Streamlabs communication problem. All right, uh, one heating element. I might as well just smash them if I'm just going to get one heating element. That's less than useless. That's not going to give me the eight that I need. Two heating elements. Three heating elements. <laughs> that will be close. We'll just be short. What is that? Three, six of them. I'll be short two. This initial craft. Um, I don't think I'm going to fix that door. Alright, we need to reload the soldering iron again. <laughs> I think I picked up all those batteries. We're already almost running out of them. As soon as I get these tools done, though, we'll be back in the clear. Uh, 
Oh, scrap metal stuff. Yeah, it's just ridiculous how much noise we got. I might, I, I should probably put the uh, the earplugs in <laughs> while we do this. Well, it doesn't seem like they're wandering away like they did that other time. We've actually had quite a few come down into the lab with me. Kind of worried my non-stop gunfire has been uh, generating more wanders and uh, moving the hordes over on top of this area. We could have hundreds of them up there at this point, possibly. That'll be interesting. Do, 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 do. Come on, Forge. And there we go. All right, so we've got the uh, the welding rig and the forge, or the arc welder and the forge. Hung hungry, thirsty, and tired. Um, yeah, I don't have that much more food yet. <laughs> hmm. Try to sleep. Put the door back up. Yeah, I've got a pretty good amount of copper wire. <clears throat> Didn't figure I was in the absolutely have to uh, break the uh, refrigerator's mode yet. Uh, out of nails. <laughs> Don't have to, enough nails. That's funny. Uh, we'll go get some nails. Love low strength characters. Eh, let's grab all the stuff. Give me my door back, please. Mainly it's just there as an early warning system. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I think it's time to sleep. So we got the start on our metal working. How many, I can't remember how many batteries I actually came back with. Medium, I've got two 500s and a couple of good medium charges. I've only got a single heavy. I think both of these use mediums, right? Nope, Forge uses heavy. All right, so I got the one heavy, so we're gonna have to be careful with our usage there. For the moment. Um, all right, give me the heavy and give me that medium. All right, so both of them are loaded up. Um, I think I'll just leave those right this spot. Fully loaded and fully loaded. We've already got uh, the tongs, so next up would be the other tools. Crucible, anvil, swage and die set, chisel. I, might, I think I have to do chisel, then swage and die, and then we'll have all the metalworking stuff. Then we can do whatever we need to there. All right, let's go take a nap. Let's see if anything moves on while we take a nap. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, God, I really don't want to wear my earplugs. <laughs> I don't want to, but I'm going to have to if I'm going to try to get to sleep. Um, let's actually do this. Let's go back upstairs for a moment. Let's see if this is infested. No? Cool. 
All right, so I can't close this. The wind doors aren't going to help, but I, I can close these to help prevent things from coming down. Takes a bit more work to knock those down. Huge boomer again. All right, now they're cheating. <laughs> now we're getting stuff squeezed through the Z levels again, I think. There's no way there should be a huge boomer sitting right here. There's no way there should be a huge boomer right here. I mean, all the doors are closed. <laughs> Except for the one I came down through. Unless he was in here and it died and then revived. No, they can't die. They blow up when they die. Hmm. Do I play with Wander Spawns on or off? I never play with Wander Spawns off. The only time I ever play with Wander Spawns off is in very, very specific and particular challenge scenarios that I might turn them off. I can remember one that I did where I turned it off specifically. Otherwise, I've played with Wander Spawns on for the last two years. The game's just far, 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 far too easy if I turn Wander Spawns off. Wander Spawns has its issues, but... Um, what it adds to the game for me in interest and difficulty vastly outweighs the few irritating negatives that it comes with. I'll grumble about it once in a while, but I'll never turn Wander Spawns off. <laughs> no, they you don't get wanders you don't get zombies spawning inside labs. <clears throat> the only time you see have zombies popping into places like this and or basements is because of Z level issues. Has nothing to do with wander spawns when you see that stuff happening. It's always Z levels that are causing it. They're basically being squeezed through the ceiling into the uh, the level. They're falling from above into where you're at. <clears throat> They're not just spawning because of wander spawns. Wander spawns doesn't work that way. Um, all right. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Let's see if something comes to get me. Where are the earplugs? Because I don't really have a choice if I'm going to sleep. Um, bandaging. I do need to keep bandaging. So we're going to bandage up. That for sure. And yeah, I guess we'll do a few things. That one, that one. Well, I should do them all again. We need to get to 58. I'm not sure what my... Actually, I can tell. Let's Let's see what my hidden health stat says. Self-aware, please. I am at yeah. It's already dropped to ninety-four. It was it was nine or fourteen. It's it was ninety something when I took that gamma globulin, gamma globulin shot where we got the big boost of healing for our torso. Um, it's already dropped back to fourteen. I mean, I haven't even slept since we last used it, and it's already down to fourteen. So the health stat crashes back to zero so quickly. All right, how many more bandages do I have? Six more of the regular, and how many first aid kits? No first aid kits. All right, so we're actually almost out of bandages. Um, yeah, all right. Do some more makeshift and boil them real quick. Yeah, just grab those. Why am I overweight? What am I carrying? Oh, I'm carrying all this stuff. All right, and we'll throw some antiseptic on that one for sure, and a couple of others. And before I forget, let's grab some more antiseptic. All right, let's um, stick a nap. See what happens. I'm carrying that back holster too. All right, uh, sleep. Yes. All 
My usual suggestion for whether or not to use Wander Spawns is brand new players should not play with Wander Spawns on. Turn them off and um, play the game enough where you can get to the point where you can reliably survive the standard starts for a week. Once you can survive the first week of gameplay on normal settings like the Survivor, Evac Shelter type starts and so on, turn them on and just leave them on from then forward. Um, they will up the difficulty a fair bit and um, what they add to the game just makes it so much more interesting than um, having them off. Being able to spend five minutes killing a few zombies in your local area and then having an absolutely permanently safe location is just ridiculous for a apocalypse <laughs> zombie horde type of a game. Um, and with a little bit of knowledge of how they work and management of your environment by just regularly clearing the area, you deplete the uh, point pool for the wander spawns. And then after a period of time, a week or two, um, the spawns you do get will be very, very small trickles of really easy zombies that will cause absolutely no problems. So, of greater consequence is noise and uh, the movement of the big hordes um, towards the noise sources. That's going to be a lot more of the thing that's going to affect players than having random zombies appear near their base when they're, they're trying to craft or do stuff like that. Also, don't try to claim an entire mansion as your home. <laughs> I get tickled when people tell me, I, I cleared the mansion and I set it up as my base and uh, I get wander spawns inside. Well, yeah, it's like larger than the reality bubble. What do you expect? <laughs> You're greedy. Stop trying to secure a stadium like I tried to <laughs> or a mansion. It's just too damn big. Oh crap, we're back into the super, super slow time passing mode because we got all those zombies up above us again. I guess I'll I'll check on chat some more. Do do what else are we talking about? <laughs> oh hey, we woke up. Current health value is ten. Cool. I'll finish looking through chat here anyway. <laughs> Best place to find anesthetic kits? Uh, labs. <laughs> Autodoc rooms and labs. Some doctor's offices can have them, but uh, for the most part, you'll get your bulk of them in labs. I don't remember seeing anesthetic kits in ambulances. Maybe it happens, but if it does, it's, it's rare enough I wouldn't count on it. Well, the stadium run went great. <laughs> Just don't expect that you're going to be able to clear it and keep it cleared. <laughs> stadium uh, stadium based series is uh, just fine. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, pet peeve number two <laughs> of the wanders or of the uh, Z levels function. When you're near a lab and or a city, much less a lab and a city, which is my current situation, and the noise I'm making is generating and drawing in so many huge wanders. Wander hordes that um, the amount of calculations it has to do goes way, way, way up and it slows the game down to a crawl. So when I sleep, when I craft, when I read, the count, the timer goes so slow, it drives me crazy. Typically, I play with Wander Spawns off. Um, they're not Wander Spawns, uh, Z levels. Uh, all this, I'm talking about Z levels, not Wander Spawns. Uh, you got Wander Spawns on my brain here. But uh, with Z levels on, you got the slowdown problem, you got uh, zombies going up and down through levels, which is mostly fixed now. I haven't seen too much of that recently. So I, I thought they got that mostly conquered. Um, hasn't been as big of an issue. But um, noise propagation across sea levels is still way ridiculous. Mouse farts five levels below you, would you like to stop reading? Well, well no, actually. I'd like to ignore, it and ignore the mouse fart four levels below me, thanks. Um, but noise propagation is ridiculous, uh, the slowdown is ridiculous, uh, there's a few other things. It just, I get more irritation out of it than I get enjoyment of the features it brings. But, I, I resigned myself to trying a couple of runs with it on again. God dang, did we not heal on our head at all? Weren't we at 43 when I started this? <laughs> and we've got bandaging and disinfectant? Did that not even move? Or am I misremembering the numbers? Hmm. Yeah. All right. 
Nothing came visiting, and I had earplugs in, so I wasn't woken up by by noise. It feels like we got very little, very little help out of that sleep for healing, and we had uh, positive health value. That's that's pretty rough. Good old imperceptive healer trait. Thank you very much. All right, but yeah, so water spawns and Z levels get mixed up a lot on what's causing what problems. But um, do to do to do. Eh, technically, you can have the mansion as a base. I, I just say be reasonable and don't expect wander spawns not to mess with you. <laughs> it's going to happen. It's just too big an area with too many places you can't see. Reality Bubble is not 5x5. Five five. Reality Bubble is essentially 2.5. So, we can get nitpicky about the details, but... Um, if your base is this house here, two and a half in each direction, and I just tell people to round it to three. That's that's basically the reality bubble. So two, bigger three. So it's a space about this big. So it's two and a half in each direction around you. <laughs> I, I, I... <sighs> It's been too long since I investigated alligator. I don't know what the problem people have is. Um, I mean, I use a manually installed sound pack, manually installed graphics, and I never have to worry about them when I update via the launcher. Um, they all carry along just fine. I've never had to re-download or re-enable or anything like that. So I don't know why people have the problem where that's true. Now, if you're not using the launcher, then I don't know. Don't want to tell you. I don't do the manual stuff. I've been using the launcher since the first day I played Cataclysm a couple years back. So, but, um, yeah, I never had that problem. I uh, manually installed sound files and uh, graphics tiles all carry along without getting wiped with no problem. I'm also not manually adding mods, so I only use mods out of the launcher. That's part of it, part of it probably. Wander spawns, uh, it's a bit of a conversation, but Wander spawns is essentially two different systems. Wander spawns is responsible for two different things. A, it generates random zombies out of thin air. So even if you've if you've walked around an area and there was no zombies, Wander spawns can generate zombies within the reality bubble, right on the outside edges, usually, and behind some kind of cover, so you're, they don't just appear literally out of thin air where you can see them. Now, there are rules for how it works, and timers for how it works, and so on, and it has a point system where it's only allowed to spawn a certain number, and you can deplete the point pool uh, with regular patrolling of your area, and then from then forward, it'll slowly regenerate points and then deplete, slowly regenerate and deplete. So you really don't have any kind of a problem after a certain point. That's one part of it. And that's the part people misunderstand the most and get irritated at the most. They just get all bent out of shape about zombies appearing out of nowhere. It's just thematic. It's just a, uh, a way of simulating a zombie environment where maybe the zombies were hidden under a pile of leaves or hidden under the snow or hidden in a creek or whatever. You didn't see them the first time you walked through. And then, because noises you made, or time goes by, or something happens nearby, they decide to get up, and uh, then all of a sudden, boom, they're in your area. That's how it's themed to work. So, people just get all bent out of shape about the whole, zombies from nowhere, that's bullshit. <laughs> it's just part of the, the mechanics, it's the way it's designed. Um, but that's just one part of it. And then secondarily, you have uh, little horde indicators, little Z indicators that show up on the map. Those are zombie hordes that are... Uh, packed up into a, a, a bubble, basically. They're packed up, and then they can move randomly around the world, and when they intersect your reality bubble, they unpack again. And um, they move by various rules. If there's nothing else interfering with them in a city, they have a 50% chance to move towards the nameplate and a 50% chance to move in a random direction. So there's always a chance that a horde will be over here, and then over time, because of its random movement, it might move into your area and then unpack into its pile of zombies, which it scatters around out, outside the outskirts of your reality bubble, and then you'll have to deal with them. Um, and noises you make, loud noises in particular, like uh, heavy guns, like my Barrett, is what caused my initial problem here. 
or tank fire, things like that, will uh, cause the, the things to move as well. So it's two kind of separate systems designed to just keep the game world from becoming too static and predictable and, and safe. Um, they do have their problems. There, there's a few issues with it that occur, but by far, I think it adds way more to the game than it takes away. So Been AFK for an hour. What did I miss? <laughs> you missed a whole bunch of gunfire, Shoyer. A whole bunch of gunfire. <laughs> At least I think that's uh, maybe the last hour I've been hiding in my, my lab here, or my room here, but um, yeah, we had a horde of zombies that uh, came streaming down into my lab, and I, I had to I had to shoot a few bullets. Uh, I don't know. Did I go through like 100, 200 rounds of ammo? <laughs> I forgot. Alright, so yeah, that's enough talk about wander spawns and Z-levels for now, I think. And uh, thanks very much for the reset. Appreciate that. All right, any other non wander spawn <laughs> Z level questions? Uh, da, da, da. The Omni Magni Omni Mega. <laughs> Thanks much for the sub. Appreciate that. Um. Yeah, I I don't know the exact numbers and nuts and bolts of the Wander Spawn system. I mostly can describe it from multiple thousands of hours of playing the game live <laughs> on camera with proof. So trust me when I say I understand the effects even if I don't understand the math in the code. So if you want the code, go ask somebody else. I don't know. I don't code dive. But uh, if you want a description of how it's going to work and how you can deal with it, that I can I can answer and I can help with. But yeah, I do know it uses a point pool that slowly regens over time. If you just set up your little base, figure it's a house, and you secure the house, then daily, when you when you wake up in the morning, do a patrol around your, your perimeter and clear out any zombies that have wandered in or spawned, before you go to bed, do another patrol, and if you do that for a week or so, you'll have depleted the local zombie supply points, and you'll just have little tiny zombie uh, incursions every once in a while. Now, that doesn't count the horde indicators that might wander to your position, either randomly or by being attracted to noise, but um, you pretty much won't have a problem after a while. And that, that, that works for me thematically. That makes sense to me in a storyline, zombie apocalypse thematic sense. I mean, you got to put in some effort. You got to keep clearing your perimeter, clearing your perimeter, clearing your perimeter. Eventually, you will weed out all those hidden zombies to some extent, and uh, you'll just have to deal with a few stragglers here and there. So, I ain't seen a zombie apocalypse uh, work of fiction, book, movie, TV show, whatever, that has ever had a permanently safe <laughs> location where the survivors never, ever, ever had to deal with zombies again. So, it's just, it's way too easy. Once you get good at the game, quote unquote, um, once, once your get good level has uh, leveled up enough, you really need wander spawns to give yourself any kind of a challenge. Um, you can just, it's too ridiculously easy for a knowledgeable player to uh, stay alive in the game without wander spawns on. All right, so let's get back to business. Uh, we didn't heal <laughs> appreciably as, as usual, I guess. I got to get used to that again. We're getting low on medical supplies, so that's a bit of a problem. I do need to peek upstairs and see if we've still got a massive horde upstairs. It's a little bit of time pass, see if we hear noises. For a long time, we had a skell jug, up, skell jug upstairs, um, just forcefully trying to relocate the remains of an ambulance over and over again. So no noises. Go ahead and get some, some more uh, bad food. And I was in the middle of finishing up our metalworking stuff. We got two big ones to go. Well, the anvil's the worst, but uh, crucible anvil and a few of the small, quicker tools, and we're all set for metalworking. Then we can build whatever we want. The problem is, most of it I don't really... I can't use on this character. I, I'm going to avoid, at all costs, melee combat if I can manage it. So I think what we'll do is let's grab the Barret. And let's uh, waddle upstairs again. We'll see how the upstairs look. See if that horde has packed up and moved on. With us being nice and quiet while we slept. Alright. Ted Limp time. Nobody in our little entry corridor. Go ahead and drop the Barret again. Alright. What time is it? 
11 a.m., so it's daylight, so we don't need our headlamp for now. All right, well, that's more manageable. <laughs> Last time we popped up, it was just a vast, huge horde of like 50 or so zombies of various types. We counted half a dozen feral predators. We had uh, we were surrounded by half a dozen boomers. Hey, we got two two necros waiting for us out here. Well, the necros aren't going to have much fun uh, resurrecting the boomers. So, what else do we got? Oh, look at these guys. They're almost all dead. They've all been hammered. So, single shots are going to kill most of what I see here. The necros are almost dead as well. Preferably the necros go down first. Hmm, definitely don't need the Barret for this action. I think I can I think I can kill everything I can see, and we might be able to do a little bit more looting, as long as I don't get the Barret out and then go go downstairs for a bit. Sproglodite? Yeah, that's one of the mutated child zombie types. They're little fast hopper guys. I'll show you. That's the Sproglodite. Right there. It's hard to see under this symbol because he's pretty small. <laughs> Uh, that's the other one I'm kind of worried about. Slavering Biter. Ooh, we got a survivor zombie over here. All right. That's the uh, Sproglodite right there. Nearly dead. Skull Zombie. Yeah, a lot of this stuff will die in one shot. Problem is just it takes me so many points to uh, to do anything. I think it's... um Just start shooting, really. I don't want to kill anything on the... Oh, that's right. I totally forgot I needed that shovel. I made it, and then we got in trouble. I was supposed to uh, go dig up that rubble right there and get rid of a uh, corrosive zombie. I don't want to kill things on standing on rubble if I can help it. All right. First predator's down. Who can see me? This creature is the only one that can actually see me? All right. Well, let's tag him from range. Reload. All right. Ah, here comes another devourer from the north. And I can't tell his health. Crap. I can't afford to scramble around. And... I'd like to tag the other necro so he doesn't wake up the stuff I'm popping right now. I don't think I can get him though. Not sure. Maybe I can get him before that dissolute gets to me. Let's see. Severely injured. Might be able to. Raising hit for one. Alright, down he went. Cool. Um... Start firing, but I'm gonna have to dodge into the uh, the basement. Yeah, he's too close. Let's see if we can drag him down with me. We've had uh, mixed results with uh, getting guys to follow me downstairs. Mixed results, to say the least. <laughs> Very mixed results. Oh yeah, I forgot I was gonna put my earplugs in again. Alright, so yeah, we're back to the point where they're not coming downstairs. Um, let's go back upstairs. I'm going to pass a little time, see if he'll... Uh, eh, I guess we'll leave this here. We'll do some crafting real quick, and we'll come back upstairs. <clears throat> yeah, problem with full auto, uh, A, it wastes a lot of bullets. And B, I'm low strength. What is the strength requirement or, or recommended number for this? Uh, it only says six. That's not too bad. I was expecting it to be eight or higher. Six is reasonable. So not too many negatives for that. But let's work on this stuff. Uh, crucibles first. Four hours. That'll put me at 4 p.m. That'll be enough time to do a little running around if it's clear up top.
Yeah, the stairs thing is, it's weirdly sporadic. Um, as I've shown even just in this one live stream, I mean, early Monday and uh, today, we pop upstairs, we had two, three guys literally standing adjacent to me. I go downstairs, they refuse to follow me. Later, we had that huge horde, and um, I had a stream of them following me down. I mean, so much so I had to retreat multiple times, because there were so many of them coming down after me. So, I, I don't have an explanation for the uh, sporadic <laughs> nature of the stairs. All right, Crucible's done. That's another thing off the list. That one I don't really need to pay attention to, so we'll just toss that into the main pile. And let's go ahead and check back upstairs, see how things look. All right, nobody in here with me. All right, so it's a little, a little more manageable. Dissolute where? Oh, multiple. <laughs> so many dissolute devourers. They take so many hits. Um. I just ref I, I do not want to have repeat that Barrett episode. <laughs> that was so bad. Let's see if we can get to the Necros, get them pulped at least. All right. Well, it's coming up from this way. No big deal, no big deal. And then one guy over here, no big deal. All right, those I can get rid of easily. All right, other Necro, must die. Yeah, this loot coming down from the north. Triple boomer, huh? This going to be one of those sprinting dissolutes. He doesn't seem nearly as fast as that one guy that was coming after me. And another one up north. All right, we'll try a burst. Let's try a full auto burst. So that's the semi-full fire. Um, I do need to aim some. Hopefully I can get the shot off before he steps next to me. Cool. All right, another one down. Um... Didn't drop him. 80, 81, 41, 25. I got triple boomers coming. If I had my full stamina bar, I would consider it, but I think, unfortunately, I'm going to have to bail. Alright, and he's not coming. That's fine. Still standing there, are you? Hmm. I managed to lose a stamina by running up there. <laughs> Instant boomer. He's still right on top of me. There's multiple of these guys. I'm getting multiple bloomered. Every time I try to clear it, they just reapply it. Um, I think I'm going to have to just wait until the next day.
Yeah, no, uh, no spray and pray by just holding the trigger down and emptying out an entire clip. Everything is controlled by preset values in the weaponry and what kind of options you have. So some have more choices than others. There is a full option that some weapons have, so it'll do like 1, 4, 15. Um, but even that usually doesn't empty an entire magazine. Just depends on the weapon. If I didn't have multiple boomers and the uh, dissolute sitting right on top of the uh, the stairs, I'd I'd be willing to try to deal with them. But I'll have I'll just be instantly boomered when I pop up. I won't know be able to go run if I towel it off. I instantly get boomered again. So yeah, I think we're just gonna go back down and work on some more stuff. We'll get the anvil made and then probably sleep and then we'll check out in the next morning. All right, next up. Starting to get a little bit worried about my food supply again. <laughs> Thought we had uh, picked up enough. I wasn't gonna have to worry about it for a bit. Uh, anvil's next. Four more hours. Yeah, that uh, is probably the minigun. Minigun off of a helicopter. Uh, fires. It's a bullet hose. <laughs> well, I never bother to actually use it or take it with me. Just pull the ammo belt off of it and have a whole bunch of 308 ammo for your rifles. Yeah, the crafting indicator, progress indicator is a good addition. Glad they added that into the game. You get the same thing for reading now, so you don't have to try to scan the chat log to see how much progress you've made reading. <laughs> Especially when you're playing music or something and it's just full of music spam. Alright, Anvil's done. Another big benchmark item. Next up is the chisel. 45 minutes. Let's get it done. And then I think Swage and Die, and we're all set. We'll have the full metalworking panoply of tools and items. Two more hours. Be good to have it done, though. Let's do more scrap metal. That's the easiest thing for me to get more of. Yeah, I'm always surprised when I hear these messages or see the messages about uh, vehicle getting smashed, like the ambulance. What was left? <laughs> Those things have been so thoroughly, thoroughly shredded. Really, what what is it they're moving around? One frame left that hasn't been destroyed, apparently, is what I'm guessing. All right, there we go. We have got all the metalworking tools. Now we can make fun stuff. Fun stuff. Like a pickaxe, which means I will be able to get into the uh, the barracks that we had to leave behind earlier, and I can go play with another half dozen uh, Kevlar Hulks. Hey there, pickaxe. Seven hours, though. Um, 10 p.m., so it's dark. We're not tired yet. I think I'm going to start it. Unfortunately, we've probably, like I said, well, maybe we haven't lost our map memory. How many barracks did I mark that weren't? I know I've marked one. Was, wasn't was there more than one that I marked, or that I couldn't get into, though, that the thing was broke? I got the one right there. Armory, no computer. And below that, we already got the autoclave out, and we got the 50 cal taken care of. I think I'd have to go down, I think. I can't remember what this northern spot was. 